Hey, it's James with Board Games with James. Today I wanted to go over something exciting that's coming to GameFound uh, for crowdfunding, and that is a reprint of Puerto Rico 1897 from Alea Games. Uh, they recently did a reprint of Castles of Burgundy, which I've also backed and I'm waiting for it to come soon. I believe it comes in December. Uh, and so let's take a look at this because they've just posted some updates and it's really exciting. The, I clicked follow on this campaign just from this image alone. But now they have done some really cool things and they've come out with some update stuff. So the first update they put out here, let's take a look at some of these components that they've come out with. First of all, they've redone the art style. Love it. It's so pretty. The, so we've gone from these small, tiny components for the resources into these much bigger ones that you can actually put the farmer onto uh, much clearer. Hopefully they actually send the right amount of coffee tiles because the last reprint of Puerto Rico actually had the wrong coffee tiles in it. They have increased the size uh, and changed the graphics of the buildings. Uh, so these are really cool and they've also got the spots on them for there and they also simplified what you get for money and what you get for points. More of the buildings here. This is the boat miniature. And what's really cool about this is that it can actually slide in these different uh, types of decks for the boat for the different player counts for how many uh, resources are going to show up for the board. And so each of these resources. Now, this is the first update. So they've actually changed this in the next one, I believe. And so let's take a look at the other update that just came back recently. So this launches on September 12th. Uh, so definitely come by and hit a follow on here. So here's the boat again with the resources. They're reminding you that they did an awesome job with Castles of Burgundy. Oh, and this is what I also saw here that was great is that this $95 American price tag is actually really good for the special edition. Although I'm wondering if some of these cardboard things that we just looked at become acrylic like they did in Castles of Burgundy. So here is a look at things so far. Uh, so we've got a player board with recessed spots for your buildings and for your uh, resources, which is really, really cool. We've got the 3D printed boats on the main board, this awesome new art and design here. And they've got this little tray for all of your resources. So let's take a look, big, dig your look at the double layered player board. So we've got spot for our buildings, spot for our bigger buildings. Uh, for all of our resources and our goods and our plantations. So that looks really cool. And this, oh, this is like really thick double layer, three millimeters. The game board itself, uh, we've got spots for things. The biggest thing here is these uh, ships, which looks really cool. It's going to come with this insert so that you can lay out all of the buildings much easier. The buildings themselves, I believe, are also double sided uh, so that you can get uh, information on. Yep, there we go. Double sided building boards here. So you have one side that's just the pretty side once you've kind of figured out what it is. So in this little thing here, you could put it with the description face up. And then when you actually build it, you could put it face down and make this cool little pretty tableau. We've got these awesome looking plantation markers here. Uh, the new art style we've talked about. These 3D miniatures, these look cool. These might be really small though. So I'm a little bit worried about how these actually come through. Uh, just because these spots that these are going on, there might be not be a lot of detail here, and there's probably a lot of potential production problems that could happen at that, because those are really small miniatures. I think they're even smaller than the player pawns they did for Castles of Burgundy, so that might be a challenge. Here's a closer look at the ship. So here's the different decks that you can slide in for the resources, and these resources are so pretty, going from these wooden cubes into these awesome 3D modeled resources. That's awesome. Of course, it wouldn't be a reprinted deluxe game of anything without metal coins. Uh, so looking forward to that. So come by Puerto Rico, uh, the special edition. Take a look at it. The campaign launches in a month and we will get more information soon, hopefully. And we will see you next time.